everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I will be discussing my Sailor Pro Gear fountain pen. I've had this for a few months now. This is the limited production Stellar Black Hole fountain pen, and I've really enjoyed it. I chose a Zoom nib, so this was a very different experience for me, and this was also my first Sailor fountain pen purchase. I've never tried one before. I never even got to see one in person, but when I saw this color combination, I was very confident that this was something that I wanted to own. I love it. My first thought was Captain Kirk, and so I have nicknamed this pen the Captain Kirk pen. I absolutely love it. Aesthetically, it is quite pleasing to me. The Zoom nib I have enjoyed as well, and I will be giving a writing test here shortly. It has a 21 karat gold nib and it is a two-tone nib which I think adds a lot of design to the nib itself. It's very beautiful, it's a very large nib. The feed works very well. I've had no flow issues whatsoever. My only note on actually writing with the pen as far as it's kind of an inconvenience it actually seems to write better with shimmer inks than non-shimmer inks. So I don't know what to say about that other than it works out because I keep a shimmer ink in this pen almost all the time. Uh, but yeah, it just, it's a, maybe it just hangs up in one spot when I'm writing with this pen that it doesn't if I'm using a shimmer ink. So I'm sure it's just something I'm doing. Maybe I'm holding the pen a little funny when I'm writing but it works better with shimmer inks, so go figure. Maybe it's the zoom nib itself, hard to say. But I love the gold accents. I'm not a gold tone person. I like high shine silver. Uh, so I was very surprised when I decided I had to have this pen, but it was the Captain Kirk aesthetic. I just, I couldn't, couldn't shake that, love it. So I will get writing with this. I have a Nebula notepad. This is a Tomoe River paper. And I have written with this pen posted. However, I prefer not to post it because I don't want to have that wear ring around the barrel. So if I do end up posting it, I usually just kind of set it on as opposed to tightening it. Uh, it's very comfortable though, posted. It's a really good length for my hand. The cap does not add significant weight. It's very comfortable. It's a little short for me, not posted. I don't have an issue with it. I thought I was going to, but I, I don't. It's fairly well balanced, but I have been very intrigued by their King of Pens size, which is the largest size. I think I would love that. This is comfortable. I, I don't have any issue writing with it, but I do think I would like their larger pen as well. So one of the really cool things about the Zoom nib and really the, the whole point of it is it has all of this extra tippage on the end of the nib, which allows you to, based on your hand position of how you're writing, widen or thin out your writing line. So if I have a relaxed hand position, I get a nice fat line. Ferris wheel press. If I tip the nose down a little bit, I'll get a thinner line. So I'm kind of at an awkward angle with my hand while filming, but this, I, it's very easy to control for me. I, I really enjoy it. Um, the whole point of this was for me to have a little bit more of an artistic ability with a fountain pen for quick sketches, and this has allowed me to do that. It's very comfortable. I really enjoy it. The writing experience, this nib, <laughs> I would love to try a medium fine or a medium very, very much because this nib is just so very comfortable. It's a large nib but it feels amazing to write with. And that's just with a zoom nib. And I mean, that's a specialty nib. It, it's designed to do a specific thing. I would imagine that writing with this, with a, like a fine medium, medium fine nib would be 
very comfortable and a lovely experience as well. The Zoom Nib lays down a lot of ink, which is really helpful for when I have those quick sketches that I do on occasion. Uh, the line width, being able to adjust that is so incredibly helpful. And depending on what kind of ink you do have in this, so like going to a really thin line, that's going to be easier without a shimmer ink, with just a regular ink. Uh, the fat lines, however, I enjoy more with a shimmer ink in this pen. So, go figure. I would say I definitely use the wider lines more than the thinner lines. I don't need to go thin very often. And as far as this ink goes, I love this Roaring Patina Black. This is a limited edition for 2022, so I just desperately need them to make this a regular ink. I'd love to have a Silver Shimmer version as well. I never thought I would need a Shimmer ink as a daily ink in my life, but I do. But yeah, this is really fun to doodle with. I find myself writing letters with it quite often, especially more informal ones where I can kind of have a little bit of fun with the different line widths and everything and just fun inks. Yeah, so you can get something across pretty quickly, which is very helpful. You can see that ink starting to dry out a little bit. You might be able to see some of the gold shimmer. Once this ink is fully dry, you get that crazy gold shimmer. It is amazing. And this is how I doodle. Doesn't usually make much sense, but. As far as writing with it goes, uh, I'm trying to think of something to write out, so I'll just write a letter. Dear Watcher. Thank you so much for watching. Well. Please like and subscribe. So yes, I love this pen. I would buy it over, I mean, I would buy an additional one of these pens. So I absolutely love it. I don't really know what more to say about it other than the resin is beautiful. It's comfortable. The finishes are so well done, polished nicely. Nothing is sticking out or sitting out where it shouldn't be. Just very comfortable, very well-made pen. Thank you so much for watching.